Hey there, welcome back. The Mark R1 is in production, but it's still not making profit just yet. It was finished in December of 82, so the fastest we can make another car is December of 83. But I don't think I'm gonna make a car that quick. Just I still need to rake up profits again. And I'm making too much talk. What the hell is happening? 60% markup. How about that? Sell. Sell. Awareness. Well, kind of as expected. The market is small and we're not dominating the market. Sure enough. Good to know what the oh my god. Um paused. I did not expect to see this time. This is short bubble. Really short bubble. Uh, well that short bubble saved us though. Yeah, I'm making way too much car. Uh, go down products. The production is still quite um, pumped up, if I say so. I mean, it's still on 2.5 shift. And. Okay. How about December? Okay, pause, 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 pause. We have enough money for another car now. Um, this body, this body. Uh, no, not that one. Then no. Yeah, I'm going for this one then. This is the most aerodynamic. And it's pretty big though. Or at least at least it looks big. Mid-engine, finally we are moving to mid-engine car. Now will this I forget about this. How long of an engineering time penalty am I gonna have for making a mid-engine car? If it goes beyond 40, I'm cancelling it. I'm gonna choose another car. In line 4. Or... We have some money left. Um, so last time we made a car with 40 million in the bank. And we are quite somewhat safe financially for now. We can upgrade something. So more cylinders, lighter engine. Uh, no, I think lighter engine because this is a mid engine car. Hello! Mid engine itself already presented uh, some engineering time. Uh, do you know what I'm talking about? It adds, it adds engineering time. I should talk more slowly and calmly. And is it time to move to? Well, maybe with two fouls. Let's let's see. Let's see. We're still we are still using cast and no no compression. Nope. Still naturally aspirated. I don't think I'm ever gonna use turbo. Oh right. Oh, uh, 
Try it. Injection. It's 84 already. Let's see how expensive this is gonna get. Oh, we still have some text left. That's good. Oh wait, I want to make the engine big. Never mind. <laughs> uh, well, I'm quite limited. There we go. Perfectly two liter. Or as perfect as I can get it to be. S no muffler. Uh, reliability is still about the same as the last time. And seven thousand, seven thousand. Okay, maybe sixty-nine hundred. One hundred and fifty horsepower. Sounds quite a bit. And at least we have ninety-five octane fuel now, so that's some extra power left. We can have. And fine tuning time. Be right back. I'm done. Sure. But the engineering time is quite high. Much higher than I want to. Uh, how about reverting back to this? Lowering the compression. 157 Well, at least this has fuel injection now We're gonna move to twin cams in the next round Hopefully This Should be enough Sport, oh right, this is a mid-engine car 245 and 204 front I can talk Offset Alloy wheels fan uh, One piston and one piston Mid-engine car usually needs About 50-50 brake bias actually Roughly well, it depends on the engine. Wait, actually. Too much, actually, actually. Actually, I should stop. That's enough. Two seats with nothing inside. Standard. And how about that? Oh, right. Sport. And how about that? It's still oversteering. One point five degrees. Real? Yes, that helps. That helps. At least they do like this car, though. Um, get this up, get this up. This is a bit too tame for them, apparently. I want more sportiness. A lot more. On the edge of oversteering, yep. They seem to like it past there, so not gonna complain. I'm just catering to what they want. They just want their money and they want their car. It's uh, not a win win solution, but it's uh, happy for both sides. Solution. <laughs> if that exists. 
Oh yeah, that grip. That extra grip. Breaks, breaks, breaks. I forgot about breaks. See, it's not 50-50. A bit more. Good. Bit less. And no, 45. Yeah, that's good enough. This is good enough. This is the mark. Hmm, this is a mid engine car, so let's name it the mark M1. And whenever we have a non front engine mounted car, this is it's gonna be named. The Mark M series, and I cannot um, type while talking. Oh, this is pretty heavy, actually. Nine hundred and twenty-three. Let's see how fast it goes. Hello, my computer is pretty shit, so it's taking quite a while. Come on. Come on. Two twenty five point five. That's not very quick. But then again, this is eighty four, and you have about one hundred and fifty seven. So, oh, two point nine years, two point five years. That's not the... Uh, I was going to say that's not bad. But I take that back. Uh, that's 147 million. At best. That barely reduced it by a million. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Let's just run it through the factory. How will they like it? Why not? Actually, they love it. They quite love it. I think. This is a worthwhile risk to take. I hope so because we need four million a month. Well, the last car needed three point nine, so well, that's actually not bad. Sign it off and can I skip to either eighty eight or when something interesting happens? It is now late 87 And this thing should be Stopping production right in the start of 88 And replacing that is this And Pass it Yes, I know, I know We're going on the, the minus Oh, why did I click revise? I wanted to scrap this the engines of it at least oh wait we still have three months oh boy uh they love it though that's a good sign oh I hmm I think for our next car we can buy a Bigger factory. We're starting to not be able to make enough of it. Oh, our awareness is going down. But eh, how long has it been? About 15, 16 minutes in. So I think we have time for another car. 
Or do I want to keep this series short? I'll keep this series short. So, that's enough for this episode. Thank you for watching and see you again.